The answer was above me. Yesterday I shared about how infected by Australia's internet has been down for six weeks because the home I have in Sydney has had flood damage and uh, the NBN and Optus have for six weeks uh, refused to repair it. So it's uh, been a desperate time for our group because uh, we've got thousands of affected families. Families have been affected by contaminated blood and they, you know, they message every day and I've had problems uh, replying to messages or we've, we've had problems. And uh, it led to me making a video about how I might have to move from Sydney because uh, I don't have a GP because of my finances not being too fantastic. I'm a tainted blood victim and none of us have much money. And uh, I also can't get a specialist because I've got a breathing dis disorder and uh, my specialist won't see me uh, because of the mask uh, mandates and all this sort of rubbish. So it was looking pretty grim. And uh, then someone, one of our followers spoke about satellite. Up there, Elon Musk has a satellite apparently and that could provide internet. So uh, I have checked with the companies called Starlink, I think they're called, and a couple of others. And, it, and it, it is in fact the case that I may very well be able to get uh, internet satellites. So I've been incapacitated uh, <laughs> trying to get onto the internet through the NBN. And as a disabled person, that uh, can be dangerous. So uh, I desperately needed the internet and it looks like satellite will be the way to go. I think you have to spend $900 on the equipment and then after that uh, you get your MBN speeds, you know. So uh, that's uh, one bit of good news. And the other bit of good news is uh, a, a bit of bad news for our opponents. Yes, Infected Blood Australia has opponents, I have opponents. There are quite a number of people who don't like me very much. Uh, I wish that wasn't the case, but um, they don't like me. And who are those people? Well, generally speaking, Australia's health officials don't like me. Uh, they have for decades described me as a liar, okay? And uh, I've been uh, even faced uh, attempts to have me jailed by Australia's health bureaucracy, okay? Uh, and I'm not a liar. I've been telling nothing but the truth about Australia's deadliest medical scandal and biggest ever cover-up. And the bad news for the bad guys is, is that we have Australian lawyers now talking to us. Uh, anyone that's been following Infected Blood Australia would know that we have an excellent British lawyer called Michael Imperato. Uh, Michael helped force uh, the largest legal investigation in British history. This is their investigation into their contaminated blood scandal. And the scandal in the UK, or the inquiry rather, has heard amazing revelations about how tens of thousands of Britons ended up with HIV and Hepatitis C from blood treatments and blood transfusions. And uh, this inquiry has heard manslaughter. And the chair of the inquiry, a former a high court judge, has already demanded compensation for victims even before making his findings. So clearly uh, a major scandal is being uncovered. And the outrage of it is, is that Britain was the architect of Australia's blood supply. So you've got the Australian government who for years have said that thousands of people ending up with hep C and HIV from blood transfusions and blood treatments in Australia was the result of best science advice, best health advice that they'd followed. And now we're finding out that the health advice that they followed has been criminal and it came from the UK and Australian health officials are in major trouble because they've denied help to thousands of families for decades. It's led to people committing suicide. It's led to people's deaths being hastened. And now we've got Australian lawyers who are talking to us. And what that means for the bad guys is, is that, well, if I get satellite up and running, I may not have to leave Sydney, although I'm still in search of a doctor, but I'm, to be honest, I'm not sure I want to go back to any doctors after the way I've been treated these last few years. How do you feel? I mean, if they're not booting me out for the fact I can't wear a mask, they're booting me out for the fact I'm a bulk billing patient. So anyway, that's, uh, I don't, I'm not really interested in any more of that sort of mistreatment. So uh, if you can appreciate that, then I thank you for that. But. Um, it is a video with some good news. The good news is, is I may well be helped out by Elon Musk and his satellite. Elon, if you can hear me, hopefully he can give Infected Blood Australia a discount. If anyone knows Elon Musk, <laughs> can you ask him to give us a discount on his satellite? We're in the middle of Sydney. I'm in Leichhardt and I can't get internet, okay? It's crazy. What are we, five clicks from the middle of the city? Okay, so come on Elon, if you can help us. And once again, to the bad guys, we're coming. Oh, yes, we are. It won't be long now before you face us.
will be the final confrontation and we'll be watching you squirm with all your lies get uh, revealed on the stand. Thanks for following.